Hello friends and welcome back to week 9 of our Heirloom Afghan Crochet Along. Can you believe we've already completed 8 beautiful squares for our Afghan and we're ready to learn about block 9? I can't hardly believe it myself, the time is flying by. Well, I wanted to show you something special. I've completed block 9 already so you get a sneak peek of how beautiful this block is going to be. Look at this, isn't this beautiful? Now this is an arch stitch, you can see all of the arches as they go across our block. But you know, I think they look like little honeycombs, they're like little diagonal honeycombs. And I think they're so pretty and perfect for our afghan. I think it would be fun if every week if we came up with a fun little name for our blocks that resemble life on a homestead or on a farmstead. Um, something that would be more heirloom than just saying the actual stitch. I think we should marry the two of them together. So I think this looks like a fun little honeycomb. I'm going to call this one our honeycomb block. Now I've already renamed some of our other stitches and I hint to them in some of our tutorials. So for instance, this is the block that we finished last week for week eight and this is our chevron relief stitch. But I kind of joked that they look like little farmhouse arrows and I thought I would just name this one this way to the farmer's market. I thought that was really cute. And you know what? Depending on how you want to put yours together, is it going to be this way to the farmer's market? Or is it going to be this way to the farmer's market? Any way you want. Once we sew these together, you can sew that on any way you want. And let's not forget this week when we had this fun little stitch. This was our alternating puff stitch. Someone had mentioned during our tutorial that they look like little rows of cabbage, and they do. So I just think I'm going to call these um, Mr. McGregor's Garden. These are our little cabbages in Mr. McGregor's Garden. Remember from Peter Rabbit? Lots of fun. But let's get started on our honeycomb stitch. It is our arch stitch. We're going to call it our honeycomb. I've already started a block for you just for the purpose of the tutorial today. And you'll see here that we have a series of double crochets and then we chain two in between and that creates this space. And then three more double crochets, chain two, it creates a space. We're going to be primarily working in these spaces that are chain two makes. This is where we're going to have our honeycombs be made with arches. We're also going to be working in the middle of our three double crochets here. So let me show you how this is going to work. Let's start here at the end of our row. We've already completed this one and we're going to chain one and turn. We have two double crochets right here at the beginning of our row and we're going to single crochet in the first double crochet right here. So if you remember single crochet is we're going to enter the stitch according to our pattern so it's this first double crochet and we're going to grab our yarn and pull it back through and make sure you go through both the front loop and the back loop on that. We have two loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through both loops and that creates our first single crochet. We're going to skip this double crochet and we're going to work in this chain two space. We're not working in the chains, we're working in the space that these chains create in our work. So we're going to work five double crochet in this one space. So let's do those. If you remember our double crochets our yarn over, go into our work where indicated, and in this case it's that chain two space. Grab our yarn and pull it back through. We have three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. We need five of these. We're not moving on down the row until we have five of them in this chain two space right here. So let's let's put some more in there. Yarn over into our space, 
yarn over and grab our yarn and pull it back through. We have three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's two. Yarn over into that same chain two space. Grabbing our yarn and pulling it back through. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's three. We need two more. Yarn over into our chain two space, grabbing our yarn and pulling it back through. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's four. We need one more. We're kind of running out of room here, so it's okay if you kind of push that over a little bit. Yarn over into our chain space here, grabbing our yarn and pulling it back through. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And as I set this down, you're going to see that we have our five double crochet in this chain space. And it kind of makes an arch. It's kind of almost there. We need to bring the end of our arch down so it makes this beautiful fanned arch. And how we're going to do that is according to our pattern, we are going to skip this first double crochet and we're going to complete a single crochet in the next double crochet. So we're just going to go ahead and place our hook right there in that second double crochet, making sure we get both the front loop and the back loop. Grab our yarn and pull it through. We have two loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through both loops. And that creates our single crochet and that completes our little arch. You see our arch? Isn't that pretty? Very nice and fanned looking. And what we're going to do is we're going to complete this pattern, this sequence of stitches, all the way across our row. So we're going to go to the next chain two space, which is right here. You've got plenty of room to work with. And we're going to complete five double crochets in this space. So let's put five of them in there. those down and get yourself a little extra room there. And there's five. We're going to skip our next double crochet right here. And we're going to place a single crochet in the next double crochet. So that's right here. We're going to go ahead and make sure we get both the front loop and the back loop. Grab our yarn and pull it through. Yarn over, go through both loops on the hook. And we've complete, completed our second arch. Okay? We're moving right along to our next chain two space. We're going to place five double crochet in this space. So here's one. space again it's okay to just kind of slide those down this entire chain two is inside these stitches and they should slide easily making room for you to put your fifth double crochet in that chain two space we're going to skip our first double crochet and we're going to place a single crochet in the next one right here so here's a single crochet and we're going to go right into that next chain two space right here and we're going to complete five double crochet. Five. 
five. Skip our first double crochet and single crochet in the next. We have one chain two space left. Let's go ahead and place five double crochets in that chain two space. There's one. of our row we have one double crochet right here but we have the chains that we skipped do you remember we placed our first double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook we've got these three chains here and these three chains represent a double crochet so we want to place a single crochet in the very top of this right here there we go and our row is done and we have one, two, three, four, five perfect little arches. And one, two, three, four, five little honeycomb spaces. Okay? So that is just row two. I did row one before we came on camera. This one's row two. And don't assume that from now on everything is the same. It's going to change. And let me show you why. If you look at our block that is our example, can see that we have, for instance, an arch here and an arch here. Well, again, we're offset a little bit. Our, our arches are diagonal in either direction, as are our little honeycombs. They're not right on top of each other, so we have to make adjustments in our pattern in order for us to get this diagonal look for this beautiful, beautiful block. So let me set that aside and let me show you how we're going to start to do that. We're not going to do all of it because some of it we're going to be doing um, in our tutorial when we get together later in the week and complete the entire block. This is just so that you get familiar with knowing where you're going to locate and place your stitches. Again, we're working just in the top of some stitches and then we're working in chain space. In this block, this is all you're going to need to know is the single crochets and the double crochets. You're set. We're not going to learn anything too difficult today. It's just a matter of placing things where they need to go. So let's move on to our next row because we need to create another foundation for our next row of arches up here. So right now we're going to complete row one, two, we're going to row three. For row three we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four, and we're going to turn our work. Now we have five double crochets here. One, two, three, four, and five, okay? We're going to skip this first double crochet right here, and we're going to double crochet in each of the next three double crochet. So we're gonna place one double crochet in this stitch, one in this stitch, and one in this stitch. Okay, so when you look at your your five, when you look at your five double crochets from the prior row and they make this arch, it's almost like we have a little hill and then a valley, and then a hill and then a valley. We're going to be working in the very top three of the hills. Then we're going to skip the bottom of the hill, skip the valley, and skip the bottom of the next hill and work in the three top stitches of the hill. So just remember that as we work along. This is something I kind of like to tell myself as I'm working on this part of the block. So again, we're going to skip this first double crochet. We're going to place a double crochet in the next one. So here's one double crochet. going to place a double crochet in the very next double crochet and remember we're working through the top of the stitch getting both the front loop and the back loop. Yarn over go through two and yarn over go through two. And we need to work one more right here in the very next stitch. 
for a total of three double crochets across. Now when we refer to our pattern, which will be in the tutorial when we do the entire block, it says to skip the next three stitches. So we're going to skip this stitch, skip this stitch, and skip this stitch. And we're going to complete one, two, three double crochet across that arch. So again, if you remember earlier, I said we're going to skip the bottom of the hill, skip the valley, and skip the bottom of the next hill, and then we're going to work across the top of our arch there, across the top of our little hill. So in order to get from here to over here, we're going to chain two so our work doesn't pucker. Skip one, two, three. We're going to place a double crochet in the very next stitch, which is at the top of our heel. And we're going to do three of them. So there's one. We're going to go to the very next stitch. And there's two double crochet. And we're going to go to the very next stitch and do a double crochet as well. For a total of three double crochet across the top of our arch. And do you see doing the chain two space? We've set things up now for our next row to have a work space for completing our five double crochet to create an arch right up here. So it's going to be this way. We had our three down here to build on, and now we're going to have three chain two for a space and three as we work across our row here. So we're going to chain two because we don't want our work to pucker. We have to have a way, a bridge, so to speak, to get across over to the top of this hill. We're going to skip one, skip two, skip three, and remember it's skipping the bottom of the hill, the valley, the beginning of the next hill, and we're going to place a double crochet right here. So yarn over, go into our stitch, pull our yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through, two. And as you can see, sometimes it takes a little bit to get those last two through, because this has got a lot of play in it. So you kind of have to manipulate it a little bit to get those loops off of your hook. We're gonna go into our next double crochet here and do a double crochet. So this is the second one that we're going to do. And we're gonna go to the next stitch and do one more. So there's three. So we've got our chain two space, and then we've worked the three on the top of our little hill here. Chain two. Skip the bottom of the hill, skip the valley, skip the beginning of the next hill. So that means we're skipping one, two, three stitches, and we're going to double crochet in the very next stitch, which is right here. double crochet in the next stitch. That's two. And we're going to double crochet in the next stitch. That's three. Okay, chain two. One, two, three. The bottom of the hill, the valley, the beginning of the next hill. We're skipping those three. We're going to place a double crochet in the very next stitch, which is right here. There's one. Next stitch over is two. And the next stitch over is three. Well, we're at the end of our row, but not quite. We have to get all the way over here. We're going to chain two one more time. And we're going to place a going to chain one and we're going to place a double crochet right here in this very first single crochet that we did from the row before. So we're just going to place a double crochet there. Now if you remember when we started our row we chained four. This chain four counted as a double crochet and a chain one. 
So we ended the same way. We have a chain one and a double crochet that kind of evens our block out. So what we've done here is we've created the pillars for our next arch, for our next little row of honeycombs. So let's go ahead and we'll do those. We're going to chain three, one, two, three. Now I want to caution you, don't work ahead because it's not the same that it's been. We're going to change things up a little bit and that's going to happen throughout this block. Don't get comfortable thinking you can work too far ahead because things change. We're going to turn our work and we're going to place two double crochet in the top of this first double crochet. So we chained three up and then we're going to do a double crochet right there, right where we turned. And then we're going to do one more double crochet in there. So we have, in essence, because our chain three up is going to count as a double crochet, in essence we have three double crochet right here at the edge of our work, which might seem kind of strange. If you lay your work out, it's going to be like, oh my gosh, what am I doing way over here? I don't like this. Don't worry about it. It's going to be okay. Because what we're going to do next is we're going to skip this double crochet right here and we're going to single crochet in this middle double crochet here. We're going to do a single crochet here. And that pulls that this way. See, now everything lines up. This is a half of an arch. So we have a full arch here, but because things are on a diagonal, we have a half arch here because this is where our block starts. Okay? So, our next portion of our pattern is we've got this two chain space right here. We're going to complete five double crochet in that chain two space. So there's one. There's two. There's three. that away a little bit, give myself a little room, and there's five. So now we've started our first full arch of this row, and it's not above our other arches, it's in the middle of the two. So we're going to start that diagonal pattern across. We're going to skip our first double crochet of this row. And we're going to place a single crochet in the middle one, in the next one right here. So here's a single crochet. We're going to go right to our next chain two space right here. We're going to complete five double crochet in that chain two space. So here's two. feel like I'm running out of room so just give it a little push over there and you've got room to put your fifth one in and it may feel like a tight squeeze but trust me we're gonna do some patterns that are gonna call for more than five we're gonna skip our first double crochet we're gonna place a single crochet in our next double crochet right here we're gonna go right to our next chain two space and we're gonna do five Double crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. Skip our first double crochet and place a single crochet in the next double crochet right there in the middle. There's our single crochet. Got this chain space left. We're going to put five double crochet in here. There's one, two, three, four, Skip the first.
first double crochet and place a single crochet in the next double crochet right there. So this was our chain three when we turned. We're going to use this as a double crochet here on the end and we're going to go right up here to the top and we're going to place three double crochet right up here at the top. And try to get the bo both the front loop and the back loop on that chain so you've got some stability. So there's one, two, and three. So we began the row with a little half arch right here. And then we've got our arches across. So one, two, three, four, four and a half, and five. Down here we had one, two, three, four, five. So they're just offset a little bit. And now what we need to do is we need to work on a way to work up and then get five up here again instead of our halves. So I'm going to stop right here because we're going to get together at our next video and we're going to work the entire block and I will talk you through building this block so that your diagonals line up appropriately and that your honeycombs at line up appropriately and we will get our block done. So until I see you within, I want you to practice on just working where your chain spaces are and locating where your middle double crochet is to place your single crochets in each row as we work. And I think this next block will work up very, very quickly. I mean, look how much we did in just one, two, three, four rows. We got quite a bit done. So I would imagine it's probably only going to take maybe 12, um, 13, 14 rows to get this one done. So this one should work up pretty quickly for us. So practice, practice, practice. Remember that this is going to be available in left-handed crochet and right-handed crochet. Make sure you share this with your crochet friends and invite them to join in on our crochet along if they would love to do this with us, if you think it's something that they would enjoy. Be sure to hit the thumbs up and I will see you for our next tutorial where we will complete the block. All right, friends, until I see you then, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.